Hey YouTube! This is FireWizard23 eating slightly burned popcorn on Let's Play Final Fantasy 1 Dawn of Souls. We are now on the water floor of the Chaos Shrine. Let's keep going. Oh no! Water monsters! Let's get them! So I'm just munching on my popcorn here. Yeah, I had them for a little too long. Rat. Yeah! Had work this morning, now it's time to entertain you all. Nope. Ah! Monsters! More water elementals! Stop eating the popcorn. Those are not going to be able to comment here. <laughs> Got another level up for Nomit. Monsters! Oh, these guys. Let's bust up some items. Fire! Yeah! Probably won't work that well. No. How about thunder? Nice! Keep it going. There's no treasure on this floor, we're just gonna head right to the boss. Ooh, those white sharks could be a problem. And the Sajin princes are gonna rape us. Thunder! Ugh! Use some ice magic on him. Nice! Fire! Yeah! Eat fire, sharks! Judgment! Bam! Oh, we got the worm killer. Nice. Which is good against dragons, but we don't really need it. Alright. The boss is over on yaw. Not these guys, though. Bust out the items. Fire! Yeah! Nice. Now, boss is ahead of us. Guess who it is? Speed healing. Let's go. It's boss time against the Kraken. Use up those Hermes shoes. Yeah, this might be completely unnecessary preparation, but still. It's how you fight bosses, damn it. Get all your defenses going. Weapon! Maximum power! Speed up! Ow! Increase our evasion! Let's use Defense! Increase! Oh no! Ink! The deadliest attack of the game! <laughs> Maximum power! Nice. Ink. Now use Sundaga on him. Oh no! We should have done lightning protection! No! Wow, that was bad. Bye. Yeah, the ultimate weapon completely breaks this. It really does break it. And we did it! Let's get out of here. We're now on the air floor. Now, there is one treasure we definitely want to get here. Uh oh, vampires! Didn't you learn your lesson when we killed the other guy twice? The Vampire Lord 
Um, as an interesting note, in the NES version, he can cast a defense from fire, but in the NES version, apparently the fact that he's undead overrides the fact that... Right? Overrides the fact that he gave himself protection from fire. So he actually still ends up taking the same kind of damage anyway. So it's, it's pointless. We want to head down this way. Oh no! More vampires! I'm not exactly sure what the difference is between a vampire and a vampire lord. Uh, Draggy, you want to help me on that one? I mean, are you a lord of vampires if you sired more vampires? See, they're just noblaze. But if we use a fire attack, it would do the same kind of damage. At least in the NES version, well, I don't know if they fixed it here. And note, he actually casts out the whole party in the NES version, he would only actually cast out on himself. Kind of interesting. Sorry, that might have been muddled. In the NES version, <clears throat> he only casts the, a fire spell on himself versus everybody, which is kind of an oddity. Air Elemental. Nice. And other, and here we get the Masamune. One of the most powerful weapons in the game. The legendary katana without peer. Fun doesn't want it. But he can equip the Masamune. Okay. Oh, still want the ribbon. Alright. So our ninjas all oh, Masamune that that shit up. Which is good on in the NES version and in this version, any character can equip the Masamune. Any character. Any character, any class. Wow, don't burn popcorn, people, it sucks. <laughs> this way again. Gee, I wonder who will fight on this floor. Let me think. Oh, Vampire Lords and Dragon Zombies! Wait, did Wait a minute, did I just give I just know something? Or it Wedge has it. Okay, Wedge has the maximum name. Okay. But that animation looks very familiar. More vampire lords. Alright. We'll blast them away with items. Oh no! The gaze attack! No! Really? Fire! No! Thunder! Gotcha! Got another level? I wonder what's over here! Oh no! Tiamat! I don't believe the special attack thing with, um... I don't believe the, the Scourge of the Lily can work here. I don't think it does. I'm gonna try and beat this guy legit. Let's do it! Ow! Oh, jeez, he's really low on HP. I didn't realize that. More to the challenge! A little more popcorn for me. Yeah, I'm in the middle of fighting a boss, and I feel I need to eat popcorn. Defense! Alright. Attack! Okay, um... Should do... He's gotta heal himself. Uh... Use the white rope again. And you haste up the ninja. Badge ability! No! Haha, <laughs> it didn't work. You can't use that attack on us! No! Speed up! Just in case, throw Kiraga on that guy. No, a cold attack! 
for our ribbons protect us from that. Okay. Punch, 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 punch off. Got him! Hooray! Yeah, fiends are easily dispatched now. Well, quote, cool. hold up. Got one last turtle. There's no monsters on this floor. This is the end, folks. Through this door is the very final boss of the game. We should use some ethers. Quick ethers, thank you. Save it up. Let's do it! Uh, Garland? Do you remember me? I was once known as a Knight of Cornelia. OMG! 2,000 years ago from now, you killed me. I am Garland. Whoa, 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 whoa? Oh, you did defeat me then. But the four great forces saved me by sending me back through time. Once here, I sent the four fiends into the future. But they shall once again use the four great forces to send me into the past. In 2,000 years, I'll remember none of this. Oh no! He's using ultimate boss change! But I will be reborn again here. So ever as you die again and again, I shall return. Born again in this endless cycle circle that I have created. It's time for ultimate boss time! Against chaos! Weapon maximum power! Speed up! No! A really cold attack! No! Speed up! Dodge ability! Get this jerk! Uh, let me throw no frost out there, since he's gonna use cold attacks. Protection from cold! Ah! Should you use fire protection? No! You bust out the rune staff. No! No! Get up, warriors of light! Get up! He hasn't beaten us yet. No! Get up! Punch! 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 Okay, everybody, bust out some healing items. Our intelligence stats are all higher, so this should be much more effective this time. Ow! Heal up! Let's do it! Gonna throw Proterra on us. Oh! Defense! Up! No! The Cyclone ability! No! Da -da 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 no, no, no. That's not what that means. Punch up, punch up, punch up! Hmm. You really don't want us to die. You know, dying is bad. Let's use more heal stuff. Slow No! Oh, it missed. Okay. Speed up! Oh, healing up. Sorry. Yeah! You cannot defeat us, for we are the warriors of light!
I'm gonna cast Piraga directly on you. Rooster! Ow! Jerk! Watch your my jaw! We should throw a really powerful attack at him. Like the Lightbringer for a holy! Oh no! Earthquake! No! Holy! No! <laughs> okay, so it's not as, as as brilliant as the other attacks. There is a video on YouTube of, of this guy, the Master. At max level, in one attack, he kills Chaos. It is, like, so crazy. I wish I could find it. If somebody finds that video, please show me. It's from the NES version. It's so awesome. Quick. Use the Judgment Staff! Oh! No! A Thunder Attack! Punch a punch a No! I've lost! That's not possible! Ah! We did it! You lose, Drake Base. You lose. Now for our thrilling epilogue. Woo! The time loop was severed at last. The endless struggle that raged over 2,000 years had ended, and peace prevailed once more. The light of the four crystals restored the forces of wind, water, earth, and fire. And heart! No, no. Go planet! It was a mere trick of fate that had given rise to the chain of Garland's wrath. I haven't actually read this epilogue, the version, this version of the epilogue for quite a while, actually. But magnified by the four forces meant to guide our world, that trick of fate also gave birth to the fiends. Monsters ran rampant, and the world sank into darkness. Oh, I'm glad I have some popcorn for this. <laughs> Hope you have popcorn too, viewers! But all that is now past. With the four forces flowing as they were meant, the warriors prepared to cross time and return to the world they knew. A world where Princess Sarah Queen Jane, and even Garland himself await. Huh. When was this fateful day that sent time spiraling into a loop? None can say. Aw, oh, man. It seemed the cycle into which time had fallen would last forever. But the bravery of four young travelers changed that. They took the forces that filled the world with darkness and used them to bathe the world in light. Yay! Thus began the beginning of Square Enix dominating the RPG genre. No, no, no. None will ever recall the struggle the four endured, for the breaking of the chain means that it never existed. 
But yeah, one of those weird time things. But within the tales of fantasy that people tell, the memory of their deeds lives on. And, to be fair, does no one not know this game who's an RPG enthusiast? Tales of dwarves and elves, of dragons and shining civilizations that reached for the heavens even as they fell. And now their return is upon us. With the memory of their struggle buried deep in their hearts, they will quietly watch over our world. Oh, sorry about the mouse. Go ahead. There's some of my keypad here, right? There's like a little scratch on my pad. I'm mad about that. <laughs> Remember always that the forces of the world must be used as they were intended. That the power of light must never be used for dark. And that the true crystals reside in your heart. Do not abuse the power, lest you risk losing that power forever. <laughs> Thanks, Zordon. Thanks for that. For you are the warrior who crossed time. Yeah! Epic ending! Well, I've had a lot of fun playing this game. I hope you have all enjoyed me playing Final Fantasy 1 Dawn of Souls. I'm going to be continuing right on into the second game of the series, and you are the bringer of light, into Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy II Dawn of Souls. So I hope to see you in that LP. Oh, we got an extended ending here. Let's watch the credits roll. Yeah, I've, I've really, really enjoyed this. I, I didn't think I was going to enjoy this as much because I hadn't gone through this bonus dungeons in so long. Again, I am really sorry, I just could not beat Omega and Shinryu. I'm sure there's videos out there how to do it. Uh, the most of the strategies I saw recommended having a white mage who could cast Hyoaga, and I, ju I just don't have the healing to keep up with their, their attacks. I just don't have it. But I hope you've all enjoyed the LP thus far. Oh, for what it is. Wait a minute, shouldn't that be Final Fantasy 1 Don't Don't Soul Staff? I mean, technically, yeah, they all probably worked on both games, but still, you know, haven't played the second game yet. You can't do this in reverse. You're creating on the top. You're creating a paradox. <laughs> well, these times, I want one of these things to go by where I just look at a name. And I'm like, wait, wait, I know that guy. Wait a minute. <laughs> The biggest problem I've... It's not, not Japan's fault, it's just I don't know any of the people who ever make any of these games. They're unfortunate because they're all Japanese people who make a lot of games that, that come out in America. But just once, I'd like to see a name I do recognize. Yeah, you know, like, like a person I recognize. Ah... <sighs> But, uh, yeah, that is the end of the game of Final Fantasy 1, Dawn of Souls. The upteenth remake of the first game. I mean, it would have, like, 20 remakes or something like that. It's some crazy number. Because then this went on to the uh, PSP. And they polished the sprites again. Crazy. You know what I'd like to see? Hear me out. I'd like to see a retro remix of this first game. What I mean by that, make it the difficulty the first one does. Don't have auto-targeting. Uh, maybe fix the magic thing so the intelligence stat works. But, like, make it like the original difficulty it was. You'd sell that, Square. You would sell that. So, this is Fire Wizard 23 saying bye-bye for Let's Play Final Fantasy 1. Dawn of Souls. Take care and bye-bye for now, everybody. See you next time!